Maybe something like that? Just take Basra. What about something weird like this? Send those demands in. Turkey's lost more revolutionary zeal. And now... Jesus Christ. Um, we're at 275 regret overextension. You know, that, that's quite a bit. However, we will... form a new client state. This is... Of course, it's a republic. This is the Polish Arabian uh, company. Why not? And map color. How oh, is a random? There, there we go. That looks like ass. And now I need to assign all of you, even though, even the problems that I actually started technically coloring already. Uh, assign you to here. Assign you to this province. Assign you to there. Now, now you can have all the overextension. So that way, I don't have to deal with it. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> it's PAC. I guess this is also overextension, so you can have that land as well. Um, we're still way over overextension, as you can maybe see. So why don't we also form here... Uh, another trade company. This is the Polish Iraqi, or the Polish Iraqi uh, Persian Company Two. The second. It's gonna be a republic. Map color can be number one, number nineteen. Lovely, lovely, lovely. God, it looks like it's so bad. Okay. Uh, you can have this territory. Not trade company. Give it to you. This way we don't have to deal with like I infinite rebellions. There we go. Lovely. We love it. How overextended are we still? Still at 230%. Okay, so we, we didn't really do anything to solve our problems. Syrian separatists have risen up. Let's go, let's go fight them. Poland is unstoppable. You cannot stop Poland, right? Like, it's... We're, we're too powerful. We got revolutionary Turkey completely encircled. Um... I don't know what I do with any of this territory, because you're, like, no, but, like, there's only one core here, and it's, it's just more turkey. <laughs> what have I done? Oh, God. I think we just need, like, two... We're just gonna make, like, some death stacks. Um... Not build supply depot, that was my fault. Uh, we need you to auto-hunt rebels. In this area, you will auto-suppress rebels. In, uh, in in this area, you will auto suppress rebels around the Suez. You guys, I guess, will suppress rebels around here. Seems good. 
Uh, a nice 51 stack. Suppress rebels in this area. Why is this connected? I don't know. Yeah, it's separate sentiment. Look. See, that this is, this is my thing, right? Like, there's seven years. I don't know what you even do at this point, right? Like, like what, what is there really to do left? There, there really isn't much. Yeah, you suppress in this area. You will suppress up here. Well, at least go for like, um... Yeah, you suppress that. You guys up here, why don't you suppress the Danes and the Swedes? Because let's be honest, they deserve it. Yeah, so you suppress this. You guys will auto-suppress in Finland. I mean, we, we definitely did a lot more than I would have originally expected to do in this polling campaign. Like, I would not have... It's not 130... 183 got an overextension. It's going to take a while for this to really, uh... Kind of work properly. But, like, yeah, like, we've done... You know, let's just go to speed 5 uh, for the rest. But well, we've done really, really well. We're also four hours in. God, like how many freaking? Yeah, there's separatists everywhere. But that's kind of what you'd expect when you, uh... You might need to build, like, more. We're also... Let's see reinforce at a decent rate. Oh, Hanover now exists. Hello, Hanover. Welcome, welcome. There's a 99 stack of uh, Mamluk Separatist. Well, I think our 33 should be enough to actually deal with that. Because they don't have a leader at all. I'll accept that. Start another campaign immediately afterwards? Uh, no, we're, we're not going to do that. Okay, you come up here, fight these guys. Thank you, Q Fabus, for the subscription. But what we're going to do tomorrow is, um, so many Separatists. Yeah, there's a lot of Separatists right now. Which I guess is kind of to be expected when, um, there's so many, uh, freaking, uh, we're way over overextension. I mean, I guess we can just give, I guess no one else, okay, so this, this is the, Polish, Turkish, administration, company. They go. They'll be the first color. We'll give them more land, even the ones that we're already coring, because it's just gonna make my life easier. I mean, our, our vassals might have some problems. But that's okay. And we'll, we'll just annex this land afterwards, right? Okay, what are we at right now for overextension? We are now at 129. Okay, it's, it's getting a little bit better. Well, we can't probably give it to Suez, right? That seems reasonable. Any more land? I guess there's this stuff here. But you're overseas. 
They crush you. You're a Greek separatist. Yeah, there's, there's going to be a lot of separatism. We should win this fight. Yes, we do. Yeah, now there's also revolutionaries. Well, I would say... Make all this in the cores. That seems fine. Also, military tech tw uh, 31. Don't mind if I do. I mean, as long as we go back to being under um, the Polish Turkish Revolutionary Administration is also they're apparently a revolutionary government. I mean, they're my puppet, but sure, whatever you say. There's a 117. They're also overseas provinces, right? Huh. Well. <laughs> Disaster. Let's have all of you just join the one big army. Yeah, we can, we can definitely look at that after. It's like, I knew that going over overextension would be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Always forget how much of a pain in the ass it is. Okay, 130,000 men underneath our best general. You're going to go fight the revolutionaries. Thank you. You guys will also combine. I don't think there's really any other... I mean, there's areas we're trying to core right now. We're at 104. I mean, actually, as soon as you're done in Hamas, like, we'll actually be under our overextension limit again. Also, you guys will go march on to Warsaw. Please and thank you. You guys will get assigned underneath another decent leader. Send you up towards the north. Yeah, you march up here. Yeah, I mean, it, it took a while, but the manpower has started to run out. And when are you done? You'll be done in December 18th. And then that's basically going to deal with all the overextension problems. Okay, now you're going to march over here. I mean, like, there's no real risk of us being broken or anything like that. And the rebels, these guys only really auto-hunt rebels when they have more troops than the enemy does. Even though, like, it doesn't, like, take into account whether or not... Did you lose the battle? You must have. It doesn't really take into account whether or not you'd win. Who would have thought that... I mean, it's not really... It's, it's more that I try to take over, like, all the Middle East at the same time. That understandably didn't have, like, the best consequences. Okay, go fight you. Go fight you. And you guys will just auto-hunt rebels in this area for right now. Thank you. Go fight all of them. Because once we're, again, once once we're below overextension, like we're at 74%, which is a lot, sure, but it's not like, that's not the point where the game, like, freaks out. Okay, you go here. You actually have no men in your army. You know how weird it is to have no manpower? It's so strange. Um, but what we can do is we go to buildings. I can just spam click this for for years. Oh yeah, there's rebels down there as well. How, how are you guys doing over here in the new world? You're doing fine. Okay, 
Okay, don't. You will march. March there. You'll be fine. Okay, now you go deal with that, please. And thank you. Let's go back up to speed five. So, I mean, again, I don't really think there's going to be really any more wars we're going to be fighting. It's really just now we're just dealing with rebels. Okay, we lost a stability point, but that's okay. How did the revolution ever do? We got up to 21%. And I think that's mostly because we've been integrating um, territory from revolutionary Turkey. Which has kind of been uh, our downfall there. There we go. Poland, you know, Poland stabilized. Let's go for land modifier plus 10%. Because, you know, we're about 300 divisions over our cap. Which, un which understandably, is not uh, the best here. But I just want to say, I just want to see if there's any, like... I'm just trying to remember if there's like a score screen or something that shows up after you do it. Oh, so is there a straight here? Yes, there is. We can just go kill those guys. I think you're just kind of stuck. But I'm okay with you being stuck. I really can't believe it's going to take like almost a full five hours to, uh, to get here. Spanish Peru... I think they just lost territory to Chile and Cuba. Are you guys still allied with each other? You are. Florida's kind of like snaking their way into French Louisiana. I don't really know what's going on there, but that's okay. And never once did we ever become the Curia controller. Never happened. I mean, to be fair, for a lot of the time, I wasn't really like focusing on that, but still, come on. We still have $70,000. Still would take, I think, many, many years for us to actually go bankrupt at this rate. Okay, the clergy's lost power. Gonna tell you that I don't care about that. Is there anywhere else that's being occupied other than these tiny islands? I mean, the islands being occupied sucks. Like, it's not like... I'm not like, hooray, I love my islands being occupied. But it's not a big, big deal. Also, like, Cuba... 135,000 men. I mean, they, they, they disbanded some of their army since last time. France is at war with people. I mean, I'll say yes. Even though, again, like, I'm not really going to be able to do anything here. I'll send an army to go take Vienna, and that's about it. But again, there's, there's three years left of the game. I know the AI doesn't know that. And of course, we can't annex you. <laughs> Look, the vacation home... It's just, it's just... It's just occupied by some zealots. Look, now it's part of a trade company. How much money are we making, by the way? Right now we're making nine fifty, losing two fifty uh, a month. Make everything here that I possibly can into. Uh... Don't tra close the trade company. Open open trade companies wherever we can. Yeah, that seems pretty good. That seems to me to be pretty, pretty good. We lost the Battle of Amsterdam. That's fine. Don't care about that. Honestly, I forgot we even had Amsterdam as a as a territory. They actually had 34 ships they could be using for our trade fleet this whole time, but... That's fine. Are we not actually now going to get a 32, 32, 32 before the end of the game? We might actually not, funnily enough.
So how is everybody doing tonight? Or this afternoon? I don't know what time zone you're all in. Oh, there's, oh, there's a freaking 96 stack of rebels in Copenhagen. How have I not noticed that this whole time? actually move here where can, where can I move go 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 to there that seems fine we never did become revolutionary there's a little bit of shame but you know it's not the worst thing ever wait the Greek separatists want to enforce wait where's the Greeks they have roads occupied oh because because they have roads are gonna clear the whole country independent is that how this works I don't think that makes any sense but okay if you say so Okay, we at least did take back in Copenhagen. And the Luddites are here. Well, let's go let's go kill the Luddites. Okay, now they're dead. Still no manpower, but that's okay. I like how the English have avoided all of our they've avoided London. Does France have an Emperor again? Yeah, I'm guessing Emperor Charles the uh, ninth. Still revolutionary France, but they got an emperor. Don't know how that works, but okay. I mean, I guess Napoleon did the same thing, but that's beside the point. What are you even fighting for? I mean, okay. Uh, you're out of the war now. The Suez Canal never actually finished. Which is a real shame. They got a weird version of Napoleon. Yeah, basically they got a weird Napoleon. Also, there's a bunch of guys in our territory. Let's go kill them off. Have I been dropping frames to stream? I haven't even checked. Eh, not really. Okay. I mean, I don't know if I would say Europe's consolidated. It's like there's... There's Poland, and then there's everything else. I might have more... Looming Disaster, really? Revolution? Huh. Currently 4.5%, 0.5% 0 .5 per month. March 1st, 1835. I'm going to say the revolution has no chance of actually firing right now. Spain is also no longer considered a valid rival. Really? How is that even possible? We actually have no other rivals. I mean, I guess I can know we're war. Right, 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 right. Score whatever you can. What is this war about? It's to, to let revolutionary war against Liege. Show superiority. Are you spreading the revolution? Yes. So realistically it makes no sense that I would uh, join this war, but that's okay. Things don't gotta make sense. And I think there is one more year left. We're actually not gonna- we're gonna get military attack 32. We're not gonna admin attack 32, unfortunately. Vijanagar is doing stuff. Oh, they've got revolutionary as well. Of course they have. Why not? Did everyone is starting to falter. 
ignore their demands. We'll accept their demands. That seems fine. Again, there's like literally like two months left of the game. It doesn't really matter so much. Oh, I can't convert the whole country into Sunni. That'd be that'd be hilarious. What else is Coptic? I could become Coptic. Would make no sense whatsoever, but we could do it. We're also converting some territory here, Catholic. That's nice. Okay, let's go for Admitech 32. We're still technically at war. I mean, we're still at war with the English as well. Oh, no, we lost our battle. Oh, no. Oh, we might lose London. Oh, no. The horror. The horror. I think we're fine. <laughs> Okay, London's fallen to the Brits. I mean, it's technically still England. They're not even Britain. They, didn't, they never actually got that title. And I think... As soon as I unpause the game... We're just going to save here. I think as soon as I unpause the game, it's going to be like, hey... Yeah, your score, 19,000. Uh, historical score, uh, way above everybody else. Show timeline... Trade ideas, we finished all these. We had the largest army, the largest navy, the most provinces, most highest province value, highest income, and highest trade income. We actually did not fill out our naval force limit, even though we probably could have. Yeah, you know, let, let's 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 see the timeline. Let's I don't know how long this is gonna take. How long will this how will this translate into Victoria 2? It would not translate very well, I would assume. So let's just watch while this is going on. We'll, we'll, we'll look at all the stats afterwards. But again, like, I've never really been able to actually watch this properly. Look how tiny we used to be back in 1555. Oh, how things change. How things change. Look how fucking big Ryzan got. And poor Moscovy. I just got absolute shat over. Like, really, in the past 100 years, really, when we started to explode. The Polish can over there, having a great time. Eat his commonwealth. Okay, how do I get out of this? Pause. I don't know how to leave this. This, uh... Exit the game. Load game. Statistics? How do I get out of the history timeline? Does anybody know how to make how make, how that happens? Yeah, I mean, Ryzen is just without that. You could you could actually see where we lost our first coalition war. The one I think that's actually the only war we ever lost this whole game. Incredible. Incredible. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll just go and load the save game. And then we'll look at some of the stats. Oh, you know, see how things went. Like, oh God, four and a half hours. That's so many fucking YouTube episodes. We, we might have to make them all like 45 minutes long. Just to get through all, just get through them all. Okay, so, score comparison, I don't think we care about this. We'll kind of, like, go through, I don't have any menus, there's 48 menus. Okay. So, income, by far was the highest. Actually, 766 is a very, no, night, right? Oh, yeah, it's probably just, I don't know actually where this is coming from. Max manpower, you know, substantially above everybody else. We actually were not the most advanced country. Um... Other people had the 32, 32nd admin tech, which we didn't actually have ourselves. Of course, ideas, we are probably amongst the top. I mean, I think 56 is the most you could have. Power projection, us in surprisingly Chile. I don't know how Chile was able to accomplish that. Actually, Canadian Poland or Polish Canada had 70 power projection. Congratulations on them. I don't know how they accomplished that either. A lot of monarchies. 
a few tribal countries, a few theocracies. I mean, most people were actually republics. Like, they're actually... Mm, there's probably around an equal number of republics. No, because, you know, there's way more monarchies and republics, but... How many revolutionary republics were there? There was a ton. Like, that is a lot of revolutionary republics. Prince Thumbs, Papacy. Are we the only serene republic in the entire game? <laughs> Government name is Mong. Ah, <laughs> uh, incredible. Electric, electric republic, some duchies, some colonies. I don't even know what these are. Admin rating, diplo rating. I don't know what diplo, I think that's coming from... Maybe our navy kind of sucked. We never really had any interaction with the Ming. Score over time is just us. Yeah, like, and we didn't get Admin Tech 32, like, uh... And a full of other people were able to get. Innovation, 100% for us. Followed by the Ming, Turkey, France, Papal State. But, I mean, it was really between us and Ming. Like, Ming was really the only other major power. Um, we never had a war with them. They had 412,000 men. They never broke apart. But they were kind of, like, doing their own thing. Like, I don't think Ming did anything at all this whole campaign. Okay, provinces. By far was us at 1129, followed by... Oh, no, this, this is Faith. So, yeah, Catholic was the biggest. Protestant actually did pretty poorly. States and territories, province overview. I don't really care about provinces. Um, those don't matter so much. Who's the best leader? We're, we're not even at the top of this list. We're, our first general is, like, way down here in 12. Got some pretty good generals led by Pomeranian France. Prestige for us was at 61, not the max. I mean, our military leader... Oh, yeah, because we... Oh, yeah, and I think this whole time we were on Republican government, which is like a 114. We don't think we really kept too many guys over for two or three election cycles. Holy Roman Emperor basically was only Austria except for two little instances of uh, Bohemia. Previous rulers. <laughs> the fucking song, man. The songs. <laughs> okay, army tradition. We did not. We were at 41%. We were the only. No, us in Congo. Congo had a great military, very professional. But after that, like, it drops off quickly. Um, discipline, we were not the most. Japan actually had the highest at 125. Verbont closely following. We're, we're, you know, a nice third. Morale, we were also third against France and this one guy in Scotland. Siege ability, we were number one. Fall closely behind by Congo. Our defensiveness sucked. Like it's almost near the it's almost near the bottom. <laughs> no man power. Infantry, most infantry, most me well, me most everything. Force limit was Did we really have a thousand force limit? We did, Jesus. Damn. Ming had 886, France had 575. Vijayanagar did pretty well. Does, um... Grand Army, Revolutionary Mao Mong. We had a bunch of colonies. Okay. Naval tradition. You know what? Actually, we were not that bad. 31% is... I don't know if Vijayanagar was number one. Durability. No, even close to the top. Morale? We have the best naval morale. Right next to French Alaska. Force limit. We have the highest force limits. We had the most ships. We had the most heavy ships. The French and Spain. We had zero. How many men have died serving... <laughs> 5.07 million. Same amount as Ming. The only person who's lost more troops were, was Turkey. And France. And... I mean, most of our allies throughout the campaign. Austria lost quite a bit. I don't know how Ming lost 5 million men. Maybe against mercenary or maybe against like rebellions. I don't know. Naval losses. We were fifth in terms of naval losses. Lost 10. Mostly we lost a lot of light ships. 
34 transports. Venice coming in fourth. Like, that's kind of surprising. Even though Venice is usually just a decent navy, it didn't expect it to be fourth in losses. National armies don't care about you. National navies. That's just telling us where our current units are. Total, by far, was us. Who had the most gold? Kilwa, trade, by far. Taxation, by far. Vassals, by far. I mean, income, up and down, but, you know. I mean, our inflation also, like, was almost at permanent zero. It, I don't think it ever went up above 1%. Everything is core. We're very, very, very multicultural. Polish? Which one's Polish? Polish is one of the purples. I mean, Polish was the biggest culture, but it's only 14% of the population. We see had 6% 6, 6 iron. Grains doing pretty well. Livestock. Mostly Catholic, a little bit of Coptic, a little bit of Sunni. Cost overview. We spent about $11,000 in RE maintenance. Loans, trade nodes. Which who also richest trade node? Lubeck. Wait, Rupin had the most. Why did Rupin have the most trade power on Lubeck? Excuse me. That, that's clearly us. What are you talking about, Ledger? I don't know if this is even showing. Maybe it is who has the most control. Trade goods, current price, base price. I think this is showing like who has the monopolies, right? Like I think the green is monopoly. Yeah, we had a monopoly on quite a few things. Goods location, 497% production in Stockholm. Yeah, again, we were just dominating in trade. 65% work files don't follow closely by England. Privateer efficiency was not even in the top 10, but I don't think we really privateered too much at all. Coalitions, cost is belly. That's kind of worthless. It doesn't really tell you anything. Current wars, great powers. Somehow, okay, rank number one. Excellent. And there we go. Seems pretty good. Integrate. BOS. Integrate Bosnia. Um, I don't know. Like debug? What what's the what's the code to see tags and stuff? Prov ID. Province ID. Um help. There's a there's a code to do it. Touch trust, trade trade, trust, win wars, yes man. Stats state? Spawn, set POV, score. That's what I want to do. No revolts, normal, next song. Isolationism? What's that even mean? Help, help? Debug info? Uh, that's not what I want. Debug underscore info. Absolutely not what I wanted at all. Does anybody in chat know what the code is? To just... Uh... Debug mode? Yes, that's what I want. Okay. Let's go back to integrate. Because I want to just like integrate all these people directly into the country. KO3. KO3, integrate you. You are KO1. Maybe I'm the only person who's ever done this. So I'm guessing KO1 or probably KO2. Yeah, there we go. So, the Commonwealth looking pretty, pretty good. Let's also turn off debug mode. We don't need that. Like, that's, <laughs> that's a fucking empire, man. But thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, also, if you've been watching for the full five hours that we've been streaming, which is, I don't know, shouldn't have taken five hours. I honestly thought this was going to take two, but here we are. But have a great day. Tomorrow, we're going to be streaming again. Uh, we're going to be streaming some King of Retail. 
And also, we'll be streaming some Total War. I want to play some... I've been watching some videos on the, um... The Warring States period in Japan and the Boshin Wars. So I kind of want to play Total War Shogun 2 tomorrow. So we're probably going to play that, and we're going to play King of Retail. And then we're going to be playing some more Total War for the rest of the week on. Other than that, I really need some ideas for what to stream. Oh, map modes. Yeah, we can do some map modes. Um, Region... What are, what are some good maps? Simple terrain, trade value. I mean, a lot of our territory is worth, like, decent amounts. Like, rivals, just you. Imperial. Most of most Imperial territory is being controlled by the Emperor. Yeah, but I want to play some of that. I don't think we've converted a single province. Religion. Catholic just absolutely dominates. Very little unrest. Garment type. Revolutionary. Is that like a different color? Or monarchy and revolutionary... No, because they're they're a monarchy. They're revolutionary, but they're a monarchy. I mean, the republics are looking pretty strong. Rebel type, state edict, or edicts. Probably could have turned these on off a while ago. Yeah, the revolution. Like, I'm just... I just don't know why it happened in Beijing. Like, why is this the center of revolution? I don't, I don't get it. Uh, what else we got? Military access to the Matic. I don't think federations do anything because I don't think there's really any First Nation countries left alive. Of course, you know, player doing pretty well. Yeah, you're all controlled by the Ming. I mean, I guess the Ming, they have all these, like, tributary states. So they're doing pretty well. Siberia, completely independent this whole time. Cuba, Florida, independent country, or, or great powers, Spain, France, us, Princess Sonia, Fiji Anagar, somehow got to number eight. I have no idea how they're at number eight. And power buildings. Developments. I think Warsaw is by far the most developed province in the whole uh, world. Yeah, it was in Ming, and the Ming never actually flipped. 67, 60, 67 in Ming, 64. We need, we need to, we need to pump these numbers up. 68. Now there we go. Warsaw is the most developed country province in the in the world. And that's the economy, buildings, development, trade, and geographic. I don't think anything. I don't think geographic changes, right? I don't believe so. But yeah, um, once Leviathan comes out, we'll definitely be doing another E4 campaign. I'm not too sure who we'll be playing as quite yet. I want to play as, like, another trade cu country. But I do think fighting wars for, like, trade is actually, like, a lot of fun. But anyways, uh, this ending ramble's gone on for about 10 minutes now. So have a great night, and goodbye.